think we're good. Akiva. Akiva. You're good. Alfred on the bench. Alfred on the bench. I just need like three minutes to so I can take actual steps. By the way, I think they should announce the players. Yeah. Uh, how you doing? I tee up these. 
snagging guys already. They're slowing the whole thing down. I don't know. There's no, hey, there's one there's one no snacks there. for us. That was one of What would you have over there? You had a whole uh, oh, sushi? Nothing, but let's go. With I've it. been doing this league for many years. Not ten years, maybe. That was one of the better games in this my tenure doing this shoot the uh, championship game. That was a good game. Which are you talking about the Shoot League Championship? The championship game. It was a great game. That was a good game. We got Miss Fritos at the end. He's forgot about it. Right? Good game. That was a good game. Though. We talked about the Magnum game the other day. I watched that one. No. The overtime one. I thought I heard you cheer. <laughs> I, was, I, I took a nap. Uh, I, I got home that night and uh, I said to my little guy, I'm like, let's go take a nap, buddy. So I woke up and it was nothing better than a food. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm a Carolina guy, so Carolina guys do. If Duke loses, it's like we win. You know, it's like that's. Yeah, yeah. Drew Lewis fair. Right. No, you know, they are. They are. But everybody knows that they're going to be right there. But that, that's the show. That was a good game. Oh, yeah. It's a free. Good draw. Put the ball on the stands. Uh, yeah, it's a free. Uh, Cuba games, championships. I mean, that's the biggest crowd in some of the areas, but it's wide as good. You got to pull over about all that crowd. Yeah, well, did you see the final? I know you were in town. I didn't see any of it. I just, I only nominated. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. We, we, we lost the two teams on the Magan? Okay. Uh, what was that? What do you mean? No, he lost the Magan. Oh, right. And oh, by the way, what did that And we played for Shell's album for about four years. Oh, you did? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. oh, so that makes no sense. Why did the same thing happen for a couple of years? And you lost the same thing. You were ranked for the last year. You were ranked for the last year. And this one guy, he does this testing. He does this testing. He does this testing. Wait, are they waiting for a microphone? Okay, we got Shammy. Benny! We got Shammy, Sasu, Bennett. We have a microphone? Two Shammy, four Sasu. Insensibly. Twelve Spodek, twenty-four Bennett. What are we doing here? They're getting a microphone. That's all we were just saying. Wait, so what did you end up? I even think. Yeah, we're, 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 we're there. That's all waiting for, just a PA system? I think so. Just the anthems, national anthems? Yeah, you're city games? Okay, I'll see. I mean, I would definitely announce the kids. It's a nice moment. Oh, okay. What do you got to be? Nowhere else. No, they go to SCR and S. Oh, here we go. Thank you. 
Hello. I can't hear anything. That's fine. Okay. We are. We believe we're live. We're having some audio issues. We are waiting on the the Mag and David PA system. We're going to be announcing all the All Stars. I'm Ari Wickes, joined by the great Matt Malk. We can't hear each other, but we hear. Believe it's on. So we will be. The are game will begin in uh, about five minutes. I can't hear him. And, and by the way, if anything was said prior, someone, there were two kids who were on the mic, so just want to let you know. We'll be with you in one moment. I know, but st Okay, we're, we're, we're just about ready to get underway. This is going to be a great game. First of all, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, we'll let you listen in as they announce our JV All Stars.
Okay, that was, we are ready for game time. First of all, we'd like to welcome you to the broadcast. As I said earlier, I'm Ari Wickes, joined by the uh, coaching legend, Matt Malk from Flatbush. And Matt, welcome welcome to the show, or as it, in case it's a show, I don't know, well, that's think, what we're here uh, for. I think we got a show here. This yeah, is, no. Uh, this is exciting. We've got tremendous talent, and I think... Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And let's before we even start, let's thank our sponsors who, who helped. The reason that this is here is because of your wonderful school, Flatbush, for sponsoring and hosting the tournament, which we'll talk about why we're not at Flatbush in, in a minute. But Flatbush, in conjunction with the Sheba League Pass, and sponsored by Camp Seneca Lake. So kudos to them because this is a special moment for all these kids, and the opportunity was provided for them by those sponsors. So... Alternate uh, location because Flatbush and their beautiful gymnasium had a, an issue with the gym. We're here, and you guys, between you, Poppers, put this together within moments, and we're here, and we're only about 25 minutes late. So Yeah, it was. Uh, I got to school today, uh, had some meetings. I went into the gym and saw buckets and said, uh-oh. Well, not the kind of bucket you're used no, to seeing. No, we better pivot <laughs> quickly. So, right. uh, so uh, thank God uh, for... Um, Mac and David Spike uh, reached out to him, and, and they were kind enough to welcome us here. Right, so, absolutely. Uh, and this, this is going to be a great game, and we're going to – our starters for for the Western, we have Halpert, Goldberg, Reinhardt, Stepner, S.A.R. Frisch, 2-2, two and two, and Bruce Epstein from Hillel. And for the Eastern Conference, you have Sassoon, Spodak, Bennett, Solomon, and uh, I believe the number two is Dweck. Number two is uh, Shammy. Sh okay, there it is. And here we go. We're off. And let's see if these guys watch the real All Star games, and see if they're going to go for 100 points each, or they're going to play some team ball. We got some great ball players I think here. We're in his zone to start. Start. So I think we're in his zone to start, is what I'm seeing. Yeah. And look, we will also have an MVP of the game. Uh, a lot of good. This kid's a great shooter. I've seen him in some highlights. And the rebound is secured by Bennett and lost, taken by Spodek up to Solomon. Sassoon's a knockdown shooter. One dribble, and he's going to go to the line for three. The first thing you tell yourself, coach, is make sure you don't foul out of an all-star yeah, exactly. game, right? Exactly. You, you got Epstein here smiling. Uh, I, I had the uh, the privilege of coaching this young man last year at uh, Hillel. So, uh, great guy. It's good to see some friendly faces. Yeah, and actually, with um, with Seneca being a sponsor, there definitely are a bunch of Seneca Lake uh, campers here who are on this game. I know Epstein goes there, Seinfeld. Um, we're going to see a lot of those players. Um, and it's going to be a great game. So. You, you coached the varsity this year at Flappers, but I, oh no, and you coached the JV as I well, right? Both, yeah. Okay, so you obviously are familiar with a lot of the kids on the Western, uh, no, you're in the Eastern Conference. I never, I never understand because we're all in the East Coast, <laughs> but we have a Western Conference Correct. and the Eastern Conference. Uh, so, yes, uh, definitely familiar with some of these guys. Uh, a ton of talent. Spodek with the rebound and Halpert. Uh, at the JV level, I just don't know how it gets much better than those guys. Yeah, he's uh, special, special. So players. athletic and... And you know what? What happens in an all-star game? Normally, you know, everyone's a little hesitant to, to see, like, seem like they're a ball hog, and un inevitably you have kids who just don't shoot, which we're seeing here. A lot of passing, looking for the right opportunity. Stepner takes the ball, gets it back to Epstein. So one thing on, on the the blue side, because I don't want to keep messing up Western Eastern, they definitely have a size advantage. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you know, let's see if uh, the quickness of the of the of the Eastern on the red side can, can play into that against the size. So we're, we're just coming off of Sarachek, and I'm seeing the ball pass, pass, pass. Uh, I, I got used to that uh, shot clock there. Yeah, me. oh, well, that's actually a big uh, a thing. We're actually going to be trying to see if we can get that in the Yeshiva League. Goldberg from downtown, it misses. And if you remember him in the championship, he had a slow first half, a phenomenal second half. Sassoon with the ball, gets it to Bennett from DRS, Solomon. We got a lot of DRS guys. There's a continuity between the DRS guys. Picked up by Sassoon. He almost broke his own ankles there. <laughs> he drives to the hoop. Met by Reinhardt. Gives it up to Spodak. Back to back Solomon to the corner. Sassoon steps out of bounds. Yeah, th this is like any other basketball game. The first few minutes are going to be uh, spent feeling each other out. And then someone's going to hit a big bucket, and all of a sudden we'll be off yeah, the races. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then before you know, they'll be, we'll be saying, are they going to score 90 points? Uh, I don't know. they got a lot of making up to do if that's going to happen. Reinhardt's a great shooter, and not yet. Spodek with the ball, looking to get it to Sassoon. And also, I will say, a lot of these kids do play to get together in camp. So yeah. Halpert, a more shot kid, takes it in strong and finishes with the left. Beautifully done by Ari Halpert, MVP of the uh, JV Championship. 
So what do you see, Coach? You know, that you coach JV, varsity. What's the biggest difference you see between the JV level and the varsity level? Uh, I just elite? think the athleticism and the speed. It's just uh, it's a different game. The, there's a different physicality that um, between the two. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, I just. Right. Like, here it is. Sassoon gets the ball down low. Solomon. Inside cut. Oh, and the finish by Spodak. The DRS connection. Beautifully done. DRS foul. Real season. They lost in the semifinals to the eventual champion, SAR. Reinhardt can't they, get uh, it to they go. They were undefeated this year. Yeah. DRS. Really, really strong team and a great um, first-year coach, David uh, Shalowitz. I'm definitely probably not saying it properly, but great rookie year. Gets them to the semis undefeated. Um, and speaking of rookie year, I mean, I know you're not a rookie, but on the varsity level, this was your first year, and you had a phenomenal year um, with, with Flatbush, and the program that you're building there is going to be uh, someone to be reckoned with for many years to come. Thank you. We appreciate it. It's, uh, I think we got blessed with a ton of talent, but uh, we're working hard. Uh, the kids are putting in a ton of work in the gym right now, strength yeah, the conditioning, doing all the things. I so. think that's the biggest difference between, you know, you know, our day and, and now. These kids just work. They don't stop when the season stops. No. Right, they're training, they're doing different things. I, I said it the other day, I was hired on May 1st, and uh, we were in the gym for 11 months. Uh, yeah, and it's, it's filtering. I see Flappers has off-season workouts set up. Megan, Fred, all these other, all these schools are really, they're realizing that, you know, if you want to be in that game on Championship Sunday, get to Sarachek, you really got to put a lot of work in. You need talent, and you need uh, you need to put in the work. It's for all sure. about putting in that work. And you need available gym time, so Correct. that's always good. Yeah, that's why the triangle, the triangle gym at Flatbush, the beautiful new gym, which I haven't seen it. I was actually nobody looking Nobody knows forward. this, Ari, and, and don't tell anybody. Uh-oh, we have a million there, viewers there, right there, now. There, there, there's no flood. I just got teams <laughs> in there working right now. I just, uh, last minute. <laughs> right, right, you know what? By the way, someone get a camera over to Flatbush. We're going to find out that's Anybody that's going to take that and run with it, I'm joking. We had a leak. All right, we have a substitution. Dweck from Agon steps into the game. And there's going to be a foul. Refs calling fouls on the All-Star game. I like that. So, oh, we blink and we got 6-4 six, six, on, the, on, the, uh, on the scoreboard there here. There you go. And also the coach for SAR is, uh, I don't know his name. He's the, he was the assistant coach for the, their team this year. Correct. And uh, obviously they won the championship in a, in a great game over Frisch. Sassoon with the jumper can't get it to go. That was a good look, though. Yeah, a good play. Here's Epstein up to Goldberg. Goldberg, good passer. Halper, one more Stepner, a little too unselfish, and the ball is stolen by, by Shami. How do you pronounce it? Shami. Shami. There you go. You got a Ramaz guy coming and a yeah. Hell guy getting ready to check Spodek in. Spodek with a pull-up, can't get it to go. Rebound secured by Goldberg. Thought about the home run pass, and now Goldberg. One thing about Goldberg, he, he was a really good passer. Good shooter, but he became a really good passer working out of the high post for SAR this season. Goldberg with the ball. As I say, makes a good look, but Seinfeld checking in along with Terran from uh, Hillel. That's also probably the hardest thing for coaches, trying to get the playing time, you know. It's like, you know, the beginning you're trying to get everyone in. Later in the game you're trying to win it, you're trying to find you know, team guys who work well together. You might see a lot of teammates working together yeah, later, right? Because they have listen, that. This is like anything else. When you're on the floor, you're looking to win. And I, I think Absolutely. there's the, uh, like the NBA also. There's the fun component, and then all of a sudden the, the switch flips, oh. and you're ready to go. We should say that the winning team splits $100,000. Yes. Courtesy of Flatbush. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> all the, on the board of Flatbush, that was a joke. <laughs> all right, with substitution for. Uh, the uh, the red team is the Eastern. Okay. We have, uh, that's a, uh, I don't want to pronounce that name. I'm going to butcher it. Mahadev. There you go. You're, so you're in this community a little better. No, that's my like, guy. That's oh, my okay, guard perfect. Right there. Oh, there's a Bennett from the corner. Can't get it to go. We're going to see that. who's going to hit the first three. I think it's going to be Goldberg. We haven't had one from each side. And ne neither are hit from each side. But I think Goldberg's going to be the first to knock it down. And there's Sassoon. On the turnover, going the other way. Someone told me the link's not working. It's not working? It's calling my best game ever, also. Should we tell Benny? Halpert. Um, I'll try texting him. Trying to get on. It's not working. Yeah. 
That was a flat bush guy. Say it again. I guess we'll, we'll call it like, for in case there is someone. Who hits that? Stepner with the three. Oh, Stanley Carey about to check in. Oh, nice offensive rebound by Bennett. Can't get it to go. There it is, Goldberg with the ball. Nice pass down to Halper. He's gonna go to the line for two as he's fouled. There's substitutions coming in after this uh, first foul shot. What a nice crowd here. Yeah, I mean, great crowd. Especially with the last minute of uh, Yeah, seriously. Well, that was great because the Magan, they had the same ticket scan, scan, uh, <laughs> scan system, so they allowed them to come in. All right, Stanley Carey checks in from uh, Ramaz. Him and Seinfeld were backcourt together. Miller. Now they're going to play some time together here. And the foul shot is missed by Halford. 9-6 right now. I'm not sure who's the guest and who's yeah. the home. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess the, next, but the next basket. Ooh, Ooh. little pick and roll. Can't get it to go. So we think blue team is home or? Yeah, I think. Uh, the Western Conference or the Warriors. I don't know who's who and what's what. All right, we'll, we'll find out. All right, Seinfeld brings the ball up. Passes it over to Borgen who just checked in from TABC. Here's Carey driving baseline, loses the ball. And it's gonna stay there with the Western Conference. All right, the inbound play. Let's see what inbound play they've been working on. Nothing, because they just got here. Seinfeld looking to pull it, dribbling, This doesn't matched have up. that all-star game feel right now. No, not a whole no, lot of no, no, no. Guys are being tentative, careful, Correct. not looking to make mistakes. They don't, it's like they don't watch the real all-star game. let it rip a little bit. You know? fun. I guess when you don't have $100 million in your bank account, you're a little more hesitant to just start chucking up shots. There's a rebound. Dweck takes it strong, and he's going to go to the line for two. Nice got strong hometown, take. Uh, he got the yeah, there ball. it is. Oh, he, he was pretty much hammered. But. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's not let uh, the facts get in the way of a good story, though. So who's this on the line? Dweck, he was at 76.2% on the season. Yeah, really good player. Uh, Mag and David, uh, talented. What's kid. his strength? Is he a shooter or a slasher? He's or? a little bit of everything. He, he was a guy that we were scouting. Freshman he, or he, sophomore? Uh, I didn't mean to put you much. on the spot. Let's see yeah, if we no have. <laughs> Sorry. Um, he is. Pretty sure he's a freshman. He's a freshman. Got that strong build, so you know, you never know. But that's the other thing. These kids do training with you know, you know, keeping their conditioning well. Twenty-five seconds to go. Well, if you took the under at a hundred, I think you're feeling yeah, pretty good right combined. now. Yeah, combined. Sassoon, he's got great ball, ball handle. Takes it strong, hangs in the air, and finishes at the rim. Charlie Sassoon, sophomore from North Shore, with a beautiful bucket. And now they retake the lead. The Eastern Conference goes up 10-9. And most people would have said the Western would be the favorite, but we'll see what happens. Back to uh, Stolen. Here it is. Your guy takes it strong, puts it up, and it's going to end at the end of one. All right, you're a professional announcer. You can't say my guy. you got to say his last name. No, no, because I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> that's why. Oh, well, that's why I'm putting you <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. spot. <laughs> Give me a first name. What's the first name? <laughs> Eli. Eli? Eli. Right. Mahadev. Mahadev, okay. So we don't know if anybody could hear us or not. I know yeah. that we can't hear each other. We can't hear each other. You know, uh, we're we're don't, we don't know what's going on, but. But 10-9, so I, you know, sometimes like you said, you may think one team is on paper stronger than the other, but it's about how you perform when the game starts and when the game is in the trenches, it really determines what's gonna happen. Yeah, I still think this is gonna get going here too. I, I just think one three is gonna get this, everything loosened up, get these guys balling a little bit. For sure, for sure. And by the way, kudos to, to you and, the, and your team on these on these jerseys. These are some uh, some nice uh, Nike uh, personalized jerseys for all these kids. This is some really great stuff. I have some fans in the stands. Uh, some of my JV guys are here. Nice. Let's see, I'm getting a text. We hear you, okay, so they hear us. They hear us? Are we that loud? They hear us over there? Or? <laughs> That's a good thing. Look at the gym starting to pile up. Varsity game is coming up after. And uh, right now, let's see what's going on. Stanley Carey with the ball. We got some new players. Ness. Oh, steal by Nate Meyer. Tries to regroup. 
Picks it up. Oh, a quick timeout call by the coach. See that coaching in your blood, right? Hey, listen. You got to maintain uh, an extra possession, and he calls it. Good, good job there. These are points. Wow, this is this is high powered here. Yeah, we, we well we have you know, yeah. we have Akiva here telling us his whole uh, scouting right. uh, score. By the way, Poppers, this is like he's not he's not in all star form. He's in mid season form. What? Each team has one assist. The assist leaders right now have one. Uh, we got a couple fouls. We have timeouts called. I mean, this is just like a regular JV no game, right? No yet, though. We're, you know, we're looking for that, but nothing nothing. Yeah, bad. here's Meyer. Gets hammered. Passes up to not your guy, but Eli Mubayet. Mahadev. There it is. The with the boom, 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 boom. Looking as an early MVP candidate. I like <laughs> it. I don't know if I have a vote. Yeah. Uh, I am a homer if I have to be. Hey, listen. He's got He's got a foot in the door. That, that yeah. helps. I got another one of my guys sitting there. He'll be uh, in shortly. There it is. 13-9. It's a good movement. And uh, yet not, no one's really moving from their spot. Carry from downtown. Can't get it to go. And Ruben is going to stay here with the Western Conference. It's getting loud in the gym. The fans are getting going. Yeah, well, you know what? This is Brooklyn basketball. Brooklyn not, basketball I mean, you know this, best. right? These teams are going to be excited, and they're going to you know, make sure that they are... Heard. And there's oh, a downtown, a three from Rosa Zada. I kind of said that uh, once the first one goes in, yep. he's going to lose the ball. And here we go. They loosen up, and they get going. Here's Dweck. Oh, what a beautiful crossover. Good defense yeah, to stop, and it's going to stay here with the Eastern. 13-12, 6.50 to go in the second quarter. All-star Wednesday, Thursday, what are we? I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday. There it is. Beautiful kiss off the glass. Not, Let's get our votes in. I, I, even when you're not cheering, I can feel <laughs> your brain like, being so excited. Oh, I'm cheering. <laughs> it is. I think uh, the Western Conference is going to have to. Yeah, Poppers, it's, it's, you better make sure you put those points on the flatbush, yeah. guys. It's a lot, a lot of individual play right here on the Western side. Let's see if they can get a bucket. Ah, nope. It's going to go stay as it's tipped away by, by Eli, uh, by Dweck. So what do you think? They're all playing is it straight man to man, or are they playing no, the no. zone? The, the red team is in the zone. Red team's in the zone. That's a good look. And it's pure Here boom, boom, boom for that is Borgen, number forty-one. Oh no, Barber. 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 Oh. It is yeah, Faber, Faber, Jonathan Faber. As I get older, my eyes and ears, you know, don't don't work as well. <laughs> but fifteen all. Oh. You hear that, Coach? Poppers just letting three us know three that Bob four. is three for three. That is impressive. Can't be much more impressive than that, unless if you go four for yeah, four. Yeah, no, I, I, we'll take four for four. All right, here's Nice from MTA. I like the guys that are wearing their team shorts. Oh, downtown, Rosazada with a boom, boom, boom. Is that a second or third? Yeah, that's a second from JEC. Wow. Oh, he says, MVP, what about me? Yeah. 18-15, and as you said, Coach, Starts to open up, right? They see one go down, you all of a sudden. just got to get that bucket. They get a little little more comfortable. There it is. Tillis with the ball. He's from Hank. I, I love that they're wearing their shorts. Now that I, I see that, I yeah, can uh, Yeah, so we, uh, we instructed up. everyone to wear their uh, Meyer from their Hafter shorts. kicks it out to Dweck with the mid-range. I love that shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound secured by MTA. Pushing the ball. Trailing by, uh, up by three, I believe. Here it is, Rosazada. And there's going to be a reach in foul. Five minutes to go. It's 18 to 15. The Western Conference is leading the Eastern Conference. Got to be honest. Never thought I'd be announcing a game here at Mag and David. Beautiful. And I know, uh, seriously. Not, at least not without a bulletproof vest on you or something, right? <laughs> nice. No, but look, the rivalries are great, right? We talked about it before off air when we thought we were off air. Carolina Duke, you got Papa's Maggie, you got DRS Hafter. Throughout the league, TABC Frisch, 
So that's what makes the game so much fun, right? And, and I think that's the beauty of the Shiva. Absolutely. You just have a, uh, listen, uh, Ed, Ed Mills just said it. The referees are terrible. Yes. Uh, but we Carry with the bucket. That. But, like, no. they're, they're killers on the court, friends off the court. They all go to camp Correct. together. They oh, may yeah. not play on the same school team. And there's a three by, which one was that? That is. That would be Mohadev from Again, Flat. four for four, as we said. The only thing better than three for three is four for four. Let's keep it going, young yeah. man. It looks like he just needed a good coach to get him going. Uh, right? Yeah, no, no, no. That's got nothing to do with me. I can promise you that. He is. What a, he's, a, he's a special talent. He, um, and he's a freshman? or He's a freshman. freshman. Uh, wow. He's just a special kid. Uh, Jim Ratt loves the game. Great student. Uh, worked his way into honors this year. And uh, uh, just really proud of the young uh Oh, they, they've seen enough of it. Wholesale They're going back with their starters. Man. And you know what the best part about a freshman is, right? Uh, go ahead. They become sophomores. There you go. Got my daughter FaceTiming me. Oh, there's, she said, Daddy, I see you on television. <laughs> 2018, it's going to be Eastern Conference ball. Solomon with it. Takes it at bounds. Gets it to Meyer. Meyer attacks. Goldberg! Oh. He's looking for Yeshiva League highlights. And those are, are camp friends right there talking some friendly trash. I love tell you it. what, those SAR boys, we played them in the uh, quarters of the uh, uh, JV tournament. Uh, they could play. They're yeah, tough. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, five for five. How did you not have this kid on varsity, hey, Matt? Hey, just <laughs> stay tuned. Poppers. Poppers, you seeing that? Poppers sees everything. Oh, there's a. So we uh, at Sarachek, one of one of the games, our locker room was in uh, their control room, and it's incredible what these guys do. I mean, they, oh. they just work their, their butts off. So I don't know about these guys. It's Akiva and his minions. Yeah, well, you know they and they uh, honestly they do a fabulous job. Somebody reached out to me and said uh, maybe we could use their um, their streaming service. And I said we have to hire about 15 guys. Yeah, what a pass, Halper to FC. I think Ed missed a travel there. I don't know. That was a Motor Shaw Seneca connection. Beautifully done, and again. Thank you to Seneca Lake for the sponsoring this, this all-star game. This is unbelievable. The jerseys they have, the quarter zips, they will remember this even after this game is over. They'll have the swag to stay with them forever. There it is, Halper with the ball. Beautiful pass to Reinhardt. Can't finish to follow up Goldberg. And it's gonna be out of bounds. Ineligible receiver. Substitutions of Zakaria coming this in. This is like a, a Mag and Flatbush. You got people at the door trying to yeah, get yeah, this, out. The varsity game is going to be even uh, overflowing uh -oh. more. Look at these got, fans. Got a popular guy getting in. Who's this? Davidovich. Davidovich. 22-20, to go. Good defense by Halpert. And a lot of these kids, Matt, you're going to have to be game planning for next year. You're going to see. I've already started. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Like, when I get All quiet, it's only because I'm taking notes. Right, there's no off season for coaches. No. Especially with <laughs> Flatbush coaches. We're going away next week, so do me a favor. Uh, yeah, you, you got, need to reach me. Wait till I have to pass over. You got to be in it to win it. Yes, Here sir. it is, Reinhardt. Not known to take it to the hoop, but the scoop in the oh, hoop. Oh, that was beautiful. Jesse Reinhardt, day. beautifully done. 24-20, right, increase the lead. Solomon with the ball. So you know what I will say this also. Oh, from downtown, I like the look. Can't get it to go. This gym was, the roof was going to blow off if he made yeah. that. He brought a whole student section. Yeah, I love it. That's, that's, uh, that's great fandom. He's got uh, Reinhardt, the extra pass to Stepner, the drive. Oh, he tried the no look, and here it is, a rebound. We may see our first dunk. Oh, the pass. He re Oh, out of bounds. Passed it a little too early. Two minutes to go. 24-20, the Western Conference leading the Eastern Conference. What's up? Oh, we see another another Flappers guy. Romano is about to check in. Romano, Romano, no Eli to take a, uh, a foul. He's had a perfect scorecard so far. He's not going to put himself on a foul. No, he's not. Oh, oh, no hesitation. Looks good. Ah, can't get it to go in his first miss yeah, of the game. Jinx my guy, Ari. Epstein with the ball, passes Halpert, he steps into his shot. Can't get it go. I think that's the hardest play shot to make. A step in three pointer. Here it is, Dweck with the ball, surveys Epstein on defense. And oh, Halpert with the, let's see if he goes a little under. And there it is, the patent Ari Halpert. Takes it to his strong side and scoops it in. Now 
We got yarmulkes galore, Matt. You know, you don't. That, that's a consummate teammate and coach. By the way, I did the same thing for my kid when he's about to check in. The, uh, the keeper. You don't need a clip on one, so you're fine. No. And if anybody has any ideas of what I can wear, please let me well, know. Well, you got to wear those, those Nachman Yama, you know, those, uh, those the, the big. Uh, that the kids from TABC wear. Right, right, right. I, I need one with tape on it. Coach Stein was supposed to send them to me uh, a year ago. I still don't have one. Oh, yeah. He, he, he must have a Velcro Yama yeah, or dude. something. 40 seconds to go. Here's Muhammad taking it strong with the left and the finish. Beautifully done. How many points is that, Poppers? 14 points. That's uh, over half their points. Whoa, there's a three from Reinhardt. Reinhardt is starting to get the boom, boom, boom going as well. 29, 22, 20 seconds to go. Right, let's see if uh, and also I gave you a hold for one. Probably not. No, I don't think no, so. No, I don't think you should. And there it is, the strop, there's the extra another. pass. Although it looks like they're going to hold for one. Yeah, now at this point, Solomon, the nice the take. take to the hoop, and he gets the friendly bounce. And we got three seconds. Oh, the steal! Good if it goes. And we end the first half with the Western Conference leading the Eastern Conference 29-24. We'll go to a short, a short break. Our commercial will be sponsored by Floppish and Seneca. What does it mean to be a warrior? Being a warrior means you're part of our family, the warrior family. We're going to work as hard as we ever have. And then we're going to go even further, push further, because that is how we do it. We're going to prepare for our opponents and be ready for every battle because that's how you succeed in life. We're going to embrace our individual roles and we're going to come together as a team because that's how you succeed in life. You must listen to instructions. A warrior will always take the extra step that extra mile, that extra rep. Being a warrior means discipline, it means focus, it means strength, and it means respect for the game. Respect for your teammates, respect for your opponents, and respect for the MDY heritage. Each one of you is a warrior. Alone, you may be powerful, motivated, skilled, but a true warrior never fights alone. Our Mag and David warrior family never fights alone. Not for any one game, not for life. We're gonna to work together. We're gonna to work harder than ever before. Take that time and set up everybody else, okay? Very simple, I need you guys to concentrate. We're gonna learn what it means to become the best versions of ourselves on and off the court in our homes and in our communities, in our lives forever. Are you ready to be a warrior?
We are back. Third quarter about to start. We got little, some stats courtesy of Poppers. We got, I'm going to butcher his name. The Flappers, number 23, Muhabid. Muhadeb. He is 6 for 7 on 6 for 7 shooting. He's got 14 points, leading all scorers. On the other side, Rosa Zada from JEC, 2 for 2 on threes, and he leads them at 6 points, followed by Halper with 5. And on the uh, Eastern Conference, no one else has more than a bucket, I believe, after um, the Flappers standout. And here it is. Let's see what the game plan was at the, uh, the locker room. Here it is. Solomon doesn't usually attempt threes, and that might be why. But misses that. That's, he's usually money from uh, the high post. Here it is. Seinfeld with the ball. It looks like they changed up some of the starters for, for each side. And uh, like I said, as the game goes on, you'll kind of find some rhythm with different players you play with in camp or your own regular teammates. Stepner lines up a three, can't get it to go. And Sassoon volleyballs it, and Goldberg picks it up. Seinfeld hesitates, gets it to Goldberg in the high post. Great passer, as I said, finds Stepner. That's a lot of size. Goldberg puts it on the floor, and Spodak takes it out of his hands. And here it is, Sassoon going the other way. Sassoon, Euro's in, and he gets stolen by Halpert. Not the first, not the last. He gets stolen by Halpert. Halpert takes it in the spin, can't finish, and the rebound is taken by Solomon. Oh, look at this kid flying on the floor. Spodak, a great passer, finds him open for a layup. Romano with the finish. Beautifully done, Spodak to Romano. Romano almost got hit in the face. He's not used to playing with Gaby, who's a great, great facilitator. Fabulous game, 29-26. Seinfeld, he wants to pull it. Passes it up and resets the offense. There it is, Seinfeld with the ball. Looks inside, when in doubt, throw it up to the tallest kid in the court. Stepner to Halpert. That's a good twosome. Seinfeld lines it up downtown, and it's short, and the rebound is secured by the eastern side. All right, we've had two, three uh, ball attempts on each side, and neither have hit the rim. That's okay. It happens. Even to all-stars, kids. See? Sassoon with the ball. Passes it up. Oh, Romano, the Flappers guy, gets it to go. Flappers sticks there in their gym tonight. It's making this like a Flappers home game with a phenomenal play by Romano. Eminem, uh, Romano and uh, move ahead. Wow, Flappers kids, 19 of the 29 points. Seinfeld, this one hits the rim, can't get it to go, and it's taken rebound by Halpert. Flappers is just phenomenal. You know, and they're, they're in the home confines of Brooklyn. Seinfeld with the ball, Halpert looking inside. 
Goldberg looking at the high post. They've seen that before. There it is. Drops it down. Goldberg downtown to down to uh, Reinhardt who finishes. Beautifully done. As I said, Goldberg all season long. High post has become such a facilitator. What is that? Reinhardt has seven for the Western. Doing his thing. It's 31-29. Here to Sassoon with the ball. Romano coming around the pick. An offensive foul. Look at that. Substitution. Terran comes in for Reinhardt. All right, Halpert coming down the court with a smile on and the ball. Passes to Seinfeld. Seinfeld to Goldberg. Goldberg kicks it over to Stepner. Stepner with a step back. Stepner can't get it to go. Another air ball. There it is. Oh, breaking. I love it. Flappers getting on the break. The lefty can't finish it. The rebound is secured by Halpert. I'm sorry, by Goldberg. Goldberg ahead to Bennett. Bennett to Spodek. Spodek passes it up to Sassoon with a kiss off the glass. Beautifully done. And again, all-star game. This is JV. Our next one is varsity. This is courtesy of the Flatbush Falcons, Yeshiva Flatbush, as well as Camp Seneca Lake for putting on this wonderful show. And this is just a great moment for all these kids to have this opportunity to be all-stars tonight and to really shine in front of their family, friends, and classmates. There it is, Tarim with the little floater. And uh, there it is, the offensive foul. If anyone's going to take an offensive foul, it's Isaac, not Isaac, so he probably would also. But that is, that's the fourth Solomon attempt at his charge, and he finally gets it. Michael Solomon takes it, and he puts some more blood on those DRS shorts. Heart and soul, that's what Michael Solomon is. Yeah, in red jersey, you can't see it, that's right, camouflage. There it is, Bennett lines up a three ball. The rebound is going to stay here with Ian. Substitution. Jonathan Faber's checking into the game. The Seinfeld checks out. 31-31. Sassoon with the ball. And as I said, as the game goes on, I may lose my partner, Matt Malk. He's signing autographs in the corner somewhere. But you see the players getting more comfortable more pep in the step, more willing to take chances, a little razzle-dazzle. And that's what you want to see in all season. You want to see kids shine because these kids are here for a reason. They're here because they're the best of the best. Speaking of it, another charge taken by Solomon. He, he got hit. Took a hard fall. He's okay. Michael Solomon, pure, pure putting himself, his body on the line. As he takes the second charge of the game. And he is uh, okay as he readjusts his yarmulke. I know, he is tough as nails. But if you've ever been in a Solomon backyard, between all the ballers they have in that family, you're going to have to be tough or you're not going to get your, your dinner served. Spodek with the underhanded scoop. And all of a sudden, 33-31. The great Matt Malk, done signing autographs. He's back. <laughs> Here it is, Faber from the downtown. Can't get it to go. Rebound secured by Terran with the good fight. Goldberg. Steps into his shot, passes it up to Stepner, beautifully done. What happened to the score here? Yeah, by the way, I, as I said, as you were signing autographs, these kids started to uh, really step into their own games. You know, the, the razzle-dazzle that got him here is really starting to show in the second half. Stepner has not missed a, a shot from, from two-point version. And there it is, right on cue, Matt, your guy. Eli, pronounce the last name. I think he scored enough. You should know it at this point. I, I know, but I keep watching it. Mahade. E.M. Uhabe with another bucket. And now we got a game going back and forth. Terran to Stepner. Stepner kicks across court to Halper. To Goldberg in the high post. That's a good look for him. Can't get the bank. Terran with another reach over uh, offensive rebound with a lefty with the beautiful touch. That was, you coached him as well, I assume, right? At yeah, he, uh, he, he really can play. Uh, he could shoot the ball back to the basket, take yeah. it off the dribble. I saw him play this year. He's phenomenal talent. Solomon can't get the friendly bounce, but his compadre puts it up. There we go. Bennett with the kiss, and he ties it up. 37, all or 30, nope, 37, 35. Must be great to see a lot of your players, right, that you've coached on different levels, different schools, just to see them shine here today. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is just a celebration. Absolutely. Um, the Yeshiva League, it's a, it's, a, it's a long, grueling season, and this is a, a celebration of uh, 
of all these guys' hard work. Yeah, that's what we said, and courtesy of Flatbush and Camp Seneca Lake, making this happen, and I don't think it gets lost, as, as I've said this in, in podcasts and different things. I think the beauty of all these kids in the Yeshiva League is that's a beautiful curl, can't get it to go, is that these kids all grow up watching this game, Correct. right? They watch their, their big brothers, you know, family, friends, play at, at different schools, and they dream one day to be the put on those uniforms of all these different schools. Here it is Goldberg it's with the ball. It's also nice that, you know, we're all competing always. So boom, it's boom, nice boom. to be in, a, you know, I walked over to uh, grab the jerseys and, uh, you know, you're just seeing the kids you compete against. Everyone's just coming over saying, hey, Coach, it's just nice. Right, absolutely. And they, and they appreciate it. You know, these kids, they're, they're here and they know the talent that's on the court today. Love his mid-range game, by the way. You know, that's like the old school. Spodek with the ball. Who's he going to pass to? He's looking to pass to someone. Bennett, when in doubt, go to your teammate. And Bennett can't get it going. The rebound is secured by Goldberg. Yeah, I was about to say Goldberg, just a great all-around player, you know? Oh, yeah. Good shooter, good passer, good offensive rebounder, and a great shot when he wants to bank it in. You know, I, I don't I know if he called say, that. I will say, though, as a varsity coach, this, uh, this game is giving me stress because I know I'm going to have to contend with all these guys. Yeah, yeah, you know all the talent year. coming up. But don't worry, you'll have some talent with you as well. So it these kids, unfortunately, a couple of them are from Flatbush, and here it is, right on key, takes the ball, the ball fake. Nice pass to Bennett. And Bennett makes the baseline jumper. There it is, a beautifully done 40-39, and we're gonna end the quarter. And this is this is a competitive game. Both these teams obviously trying to win this game, playing hard. Goldberg, turnaround jumper, beautiful. Evan Goldberg, he's putting his uh, his yarmulke clip into this uh, yeah, he, opportunity uh, to be an MVP is, as well. just tough. All around game, How, what is that, Poppers? Wow. Looking to get that—that that might be the All-Star Game triple double right there. The individual, it's not—it's a, a single double, a single triple actually. And at the end of the game, we'll announce our MVPs yes. and. Uh, you can vote right now by sending your votes in. Up oh, at the buzzer, it's good if it goes. Step there. Can't that get it to go. too easy. Forty-two thirty-nine as we head to the fourth quarter, and yes, you can. Can you vote for your uh, your All-Star Game? Are we taking the? What is it? To start the fourth quarter, crowd is filling in. Remember, our varsity game is going to be next, and right now we have different lineups in, and this game is competitive as they come. Stanley Carey thinking about it, thinking twice. Meyer guarding him up. Here it is. MTA Nice kicks it over to Carey. Carey back to Epstein. Yeah, the center with that zone. Epstein with the oh baseline can't finish. Bennett with the rebound, looking to go the other way, and he takes it in strong with the left. Can't get it to go, and the Epstein saves it to Carey. Carry with the ball. Pulls up to a three-pointer. Can't get it to go. I think that's the hardest shot to take. The pull up, the step into three. Not the pull up three, but the step it into three. There it is. Good pass down low. And nice, ooh, a foul. It's gonna be two shots for the Western Conference as they go to the line, trailing by three. Any thoughts as we uh, get ready for the varsity game? Oh, Western Conference up three, my bad. What'd you say, Any Matt? thoughts, Ari, as we're preparing for the varsity? Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to see so game. much talent. I, I'm almost guaranteeing we're going to see a dunk or two. Oh, or right, I'm if Kata's on the floor, you're going right, to see yeah. a dunk. I can promise you that. Kangaroo Kata better be I said we should. You know, in most years, you say, let's have a dunk contest. It's like, what does that mean? The Jew is going to slap the backboard? <laughs> like, no, you got a couple kids in the varsity level who can definitely put it down. Oh, yeah. And Kata puts it down in the half court. He doesn't even need to be on the breakaway. Benny, uh, Benny, uh, he's special. Yeah, unfortunately, the part of the, as I said, freshmen become sophomores, but seniors graduate. Yeah, so that doesn't help you. But no. you, you got the pipeline coming, doing very well there. There's Tillis with the three. Got it! 
That's a big That's one. A shot. He here we it go. To one. We got a one point game yeah. under seven to go here in the fourth. The excitement. Here it is. We have remember. not discussed the uh, overtime policy, yeah. but I believe we're going to. Uh, we'll do it like baseball. We'll put, you know, <laughs> put a runner push. on a yeah, second. We'll put, so we'll put something down. We'll just we'll shoot it for it. But uh, Epstein, oh, I love it. No hesitation. Can't get it to go. And I would say our MVP leader in the clubhouse for the Eastern Conference is, your, is yours truly. I um, have to say Mahabib at this Yeah, Mahabib for Flappers right now in the Western side. You got Goldberg. You got Stepner. You got, it's Good still luck. a fight. Oh, it is going to be a foul. Good luck. Good luck by a Flatbush Falcon. Carry us three. Sounds like a Ramaz game. Carry us three fouls. I'm guessing uh, the Rosazadas are related. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, the, when you're all built like that and look alike and play and, and good ballers, yeah. They are all, that's a, I think there's like six, seven boys. Wow. We, had, uh, we had them uh, come through. We had the uh, Rosazada boy in the uh, quarterfinal oh. uh, on the varsity. Yeah, yeah, again, boy, at Orr. He play, yeah. Uh, Ruben, he he's a good, good, really strong butt. I call him Zion Williamson. Yeah, he he's is got that lefty tough. flick and he's strong. Takes hey, it. the uh, East West has taken a lead for the first time wow. today. Six minutes to go. Now, now we'll see what the coaches do, right? Like we said before, they were all trying to get everyone in. Now they're going to look to see who's their best uh, they matchup. They look like who's they're the just best. Oh, oh, that's steps. Extra step. Here we got some sub subs coming in. Substitutions for the Eastern side. We got Zakaria, Dweck, and Davidovitz coming in as Meyer steps out along with Romano. Under six to go. I mean, if you're thinking that far ahead, Popper's already thinking about Popper's late game taking situation. fouls. Yeah. I love it. There it is, Epstein with the ball. Looking, takes it strong, using that big body, goes in and finishes with the And that's rim. what he does. He gets downhill. Yeah. He's big and strong, finishes at the rim. Hill that's has a lot game. of the Terran, Terran. Yeah. They have those big guys, Tobias. strong guys. Bennett using his left hand. There's a good look. This the gym might explode. Can't get it to go. Another opportunity. The Eastern Conference doing a good job. The step back. I mean not step back. The pull up. Turnaround jumper can't go. Still a one-point game. Epstein with a beautiful pass. I got, I got Ari here. Should we interview him uh, while he's waiting to sub in? No, Ari Halper doesn't do interviews during games. You don't, you don't do in-game in. interviews? In-game interviews? 47-44. I think he wants to do the interview. He's just looking for. <laughs> He's ready. We can to mic go. him up. We'll mic him up. Up, stolen. Rosazada, man among boys, takes the ball, kicks it over to Epstein. Epstein, little pull up jumper, and gets the friendly kiss. 49 44, 445 to go. They got over the hump, but now all of a sudden they're on a 6 0 yeah, run. All of a sudden here. they saw. They got that. They saw the guys about to check in. They're like, we got this, coach. Yeah, we, we got don't it. need you guys yet. Yes, they are, guys. They're uh, itching here to get in. Oh, it's a big shot. They need this. <laughs> they have oh, it. he called it. It counts. 49-47. I, I was just reminded by the SAR guys, they have not lost. There it is, a big take. Takes it strong, beautifully done. And guess that puts him back up by four. Morgan with a good take. I, I, we, we got Ari here just dying for a travel or some sort of foul, some sort of dead ball situation. Halpert, if you go on the court, you can get called for six men and then you get checked in. Oh, the pass. Not a terrible idea. Finish. No foul called. Rosasada with the ball, up by four. Dehezi, the finish at the rim, oh. beautifully done. 53-47. Four for four, four to four. Rosasada, how many points? So he's got 10 points. So we're going to have to talk about MVP. He's putting himself 11 points. Rosazada putting himself in the mix. There we There's go. There's the uh, substitution. 53-47. If I am the coach of DRS and I see this crew checking in, I'm scared. <laughs> this is a tough crew checking in. Yeah, it's nice to bring these five off your bench oh right now God. at this point of the game, right? Coach, what was the uh, what was the thought process here, bringing these five in all of a sudden now? <laughs> there it is, substitution. Up, oh, it looks like we're going starter versus starters now, right? The game is tightened up. It's a five-point lead. Mahabev did not start. I have to assume he should be in. Yeah, I, I would agree. 
Yeah, no snacks. Oh, or you know, shall The only thing better about Shalom as a coach is, is as a person. He is Who best. is this guy? <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. That's why those kids are on the mics. That's why. One well, us. Well, my favorite coach in the league oh, is yeah. uh, Shalom. Just whoever gives you free snacks. food is our favorite coach. Free in the league. food, drinks. I yeah, mean, he's uh, the best. what else do you want? 53-48, Sassoon. This is a big possession here. I think they get this one. Ah, it's going to go the other Are way. Are you surprised, and I'm saying this uh, as impartial as I could be, that Mahadev is not on the floor right now? Yeah. You know, if you want to put your headset down and uh, go down that, that bench, I don't blame you, Coach. I, I don't mean, blame you. I uh, mean, you know, the kid uh, that's takes a lot of restraint. Well, maybe that's why he didn't win the championship, right? I mean, look, there are certain decisions <laughs> no. that you kind of regret. SAR was a juggernaut. <laughs> All right, they turn. we go turnover to turnover. So this, again, big possession. We're going to... Popper's uh, credit, he's right. You know, this could come down to fouls, and you may have to give a few before you get on the line. Yeah, oh, the give to go, and it was blocked by the refs, and it's another turnover. Got it. So Popper's, I think... For the Western Conference, our, our MVP candidates right now are going to be, we're going to, Halpert. And what about Goldberg even? Not Halpert, not Halpert right, right. All right, Stepner with the big bucket. Up by seven. There it is. Shami with the ball. He's the one who hit a shot from a buzzer over there, right? Did he against YDE? Wasn't that him? Shami stopped. Oh, it's blocked. Oh, not blocked. Here it so is. Fun fact, seven. Shammy was actually had to almost give up his spot. Um, but the weather canceled the trip he was supposed to be on, so he, uh, he's here with us. But oh, wow. Solomon. Oh, my God. That's effort. Solomon Tell you what, that dude wants to win. To yeah. Oh, and that's a big and one. Maybe a out. We got a oh. game here, folks. Two minutes five to go. Points. Five points. Solomon's my, my, my most. Uh, Another steal. Oh, a big steal. This Shami. is a big one. Shami. Shami. Shami gets it over to Sassoon. Sassoon's got a great three-point shot. Shami with the ball. Now, now they're looking for a big shot. Oh, Solomon with the hesitation. Kicks it out. Spodek not known for his three-point shot. Got, got it. it! Boom, boom, boom. Gaby Spodek cuts the lead to two with 145. Two charges, four assists, two maybe semi-concussions, and a lot of points. <laughs> we got a game here. Yeah, Halper with 135 to go. Now both coaches, your guy's about to check in. Yeah, that makes sense. To oh, me. Goldberg, he's known for the big shots. Can't get to go, and the rebound secured. Now, this is a big possession. Do we see a timeout, a call, a play call, maybe? Get Muhabit back in. Mubayed. Here it is, Sassoon with the ball. Takes it. I like him taking it to the hoop. Oh, that's a great game. We got a timeout. 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 55 wow. A minute to go. By the way, the competitiveness. That was you. Come here. That was you, baby. Michael Solomon, Solomon letting us know what's tough. Give me Michael Solomon stats. Wow, great job. He's like, he is Draymond Green. Draymond Green, just doing everything to contribute to his team's victory. But you have this game that's kind of back and forth. It's kind of, who's that? that? 8.7 8 rebounds. Wow. But the Solomon play here, that changes the whole That's complexion. That's a winning play right there, right. Because he shows, I'm not here just to, to have fun. I'm here to win. Dives on the floor, gets it ahead, and now we're out of tie ball game. If you had five people. Michael Solomons on your team, you're going undefeated. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. Right? It just, if you have that much heart and determination, you're, that really translates to winning basketball. All right, but Halpert, speaking of winning basketball, Halpert, big moments, big players step up. And these are all big players. They are so who do we got? No shot clock. Here, no shot clock. I can't believe they're going to hold So the long. only thing I look for here that I'm a little worried about is someone being a little too passive when they're open, right? Goldberg's not going to be that guy because he's a great passer. Finds Reinhardt. Reinhardt! Big with the boom, 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 boom. Beautifully done. Wow. And now Spodak That's going the other shot. way. Yep. Three-point game. Where do they go? Sassoon with the I ball. You, you don't need a three. You give yourself another chance. You don't need a three, you just need a good look. A lot of time to go. Solomon's gonna create a good look. Oh, I like that drive by Spodek. Gets it to go. Spodek's a one point game. game Beautiful off Solomon's Spodek. assist. Spodek with Two a huge buckets in a row. They're gonna have to steal it or foul very quickly. And they're, let's see. Passing it up, Goldberg, you got a foul. Yeah, you need a lot of foul. fouls. Coach is begging him to foul. Yeah, they only have two team fouls. As Popper said early on, those fouls 
you got to be, you got to sometimes get yourself a little closer to the bonus earlier in the game. Timeout called by uh Yeah, you, you just Shower. don't have time right now to uh, to go for the trap. With 21 seconds to go and two more fouls to give, you got a foul. So what? We, so MVP candidates, we got. Let's talk about the team that's winning right now. We got. So Goldberg, six points, four assists, seven rebounds. You got both? Okay, 11 3 and 1 for Stepner. And what is what is help? What does Halpert have? Okay, so I think we're looking at Rosazada, Stepner, and uh, Goldberg and Goldberg are the top three. Move, 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 yeah, I think Eli uh, for, uh, for is oh here's the inbound play. Stepner can't oh. finish, but he gets his own rebound. He gets oh, fouled. God. You got you got what you wanted. Yeah. You got the quick shot. And by the way, 99 out of 100 times, Stepner is going to finish that. Of course. You know that, that I think was they the were one. just shocked. There it is. They still got two fouls to give, and they got to do it right away. There it is. The heady flappers kid knows right away. <laughs> he got to give that foul. We, we got really good assistant coaches at <laughs> Flatbush. All right, 16.5. So now, even if it fouls, you hit two, you still have an opportunity. So who's who going to go to the line? Stepner was on the line? Stepner. Stepner, big foul shots right here. Even if he hits them both, you got an opportunity to come down the other way to tie it up. No matter what happens, it's a one possession game. Stepner, a great foul shooter, 82.3% on the season. <laughs> Rims out the first. Wow, you don't I see actually that. Thought it was 83.2, but all right, maybe my numbers are off. Listen, you go to Yeshiva League Pass, you got to read the stats, you got to read the fine print to find those numbers. <laughs> it makes it. Poppers on the sidelines calling for a timeout, and he hits it. And there's the timeout call. By the way, I would next time I would say in all star games we should advance the ball. All right. I thought I thought we might get an advance oh, there, an right, advance, coach. and then a timeout. But I'm all right. putting you on the spot here. 59-57. You're you're going. You're 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 in the coaching side right now, down by two. What are you looking for with all this talent that you have on the court, with uh, the talent on this side with the ball? Well, here's the here's the issue right now. Um, they have two fouls to give also. So I, I think you've got to kind of go fast here. Right. Um, because if, if you wait and try to get that final shot, you're never even going to get it off. Are you, so are you looking for a two or three or just your best open I, I look? I think you take what you can get right now. Um, but I, I, I'm a big fan of winning. So Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah you did a lot of that this year. I'm we a know. big fan of winning and not going to overtime. Right. Um, well, you're a big fan of not going to overtime as you're, as you're announcing the game or, <laughs> or even when you're coaching? <laughs> I don't know. It, it worked way, both ways for us this year. I always say... If I am looking to get someone the ball, I want my inbounder to be the guy I want. Because he's the hardest guy to punch the track. We have it some inside intel. They're running a DRS play. I'm stealing it. All right, Popper's on the sideline. I don't want to give out to the coach. No, come on, Popper. What's but the matter with you? Let's see what happens here. You definitely got to think that with three DRS players that – they're gonna know what play call the coach likes, right? Well, but you got I, I like down there. I'm yeah, yeah. To see what we got I like here. if it's a mid-range jumper, it's going overtime if he's taking it. There's no question he's hitting. Yeah, it. I would agree with that. But I also look for Sassoon off of three, maybe Sassoon, a broken listen, play. Sassoon carried them early. Yeah, pick up, pick up a play. The clock doesn't start. We got all-star game to score. All right, here rolls it up. with the ball. Ten seconds ago, they get it into Solomon. Here it is, Sassoon. Now it looks like a broken play. They get it to your man from three, rejected. Big block. A big block and say oh, he steps out of bounds. 4.8 to go. That was a big defensive play. Timeout. He's got a timeout. And we're sending yeah. Coppers back into the huddle for some reason. Wow, Borgen with the big rejection. Isn't that funny? A defensive play may be a standout play here I in the All-Star game. I, no, yeah. Two of them. Solomon with the hustle play. I, uh, I don't know if you've seen our Borgen. games, but I'm a big fan of defense. What oh your side? All right, four point eight. Four point eight. You still got fouls. Yeah, to actually, give. you got you got Coach, fouls to give. Quick question: Did you did you let them know they have fouls to give? Is that the strategy here? They're going to get a shot off. Yeah. We're, we're hearing inside word that they're running a play for your guy. For my guy. Yeah, for your guy. This well, four point eight is a lot of time. They're going to try to run him around a screen. Yeah, but they got fouls to give. They'll never yeah, get it all. Yeah, but it's hard to for you. He's going to be shooting motion right away. But he just said they're going to try to, let's see. No, I think they try to, they get it in. Bennett, 
Spodek, three seconds. Sassoon short, foul. and there it is. No foul call, he was not fouled. All right, 59-57. We're gonna confirm who our MVP is. We'll be back in we'll one minute. We'll be right back. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Everyone do this again. We got step the 